Hi, my name is Caleb Rouse, and I get to share today's verse, which is Romans 12, 1. And it says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. I love how Paul starts it out just in the beginning of just appealing to our need, our want, our experience with God's mercies in our life. I don't know about you, but I've had my fair share of difficulties growing up and things I've experienced throughout my life, whether that was the death of a dream, a bad heartbreak, you know, the loss of our twin baby boys through miscarriage and other disappointments along the way. And I can remember very, very vividly God's mercy through it all, his love covering me. And I love how Paul appeals to that side in us to then viewing that mercy, viewing how God God has shown up over and over to then be compelled to live out with our bodies as a living sacrifice. You know, when I heard this verse, my body and my heart did not reflect the same thing. I was viewing things with my eyes that were not good. I was thinking things and dwelling on things in my head that were not good. And I was speaking slander and curses. And in this, it's appealing to, you know, out of my, out of God's mercy for me, I have to make my body obedient to him and walk that out. How can I be seeing other people? How can I speak life over other people? How can I serve them with my hands? And what can I dwell on that is excellent and praiseworthy that I can be obedient with? And through that, we are sanctified through our actions and our obedience to Christ. So I just want to challenge you today. I want you to think of Maybe there's one way that you can start just making your body obedient to Christ. Maybe you can view how God has shown up and just be like, I am compelled to offer this to him with my life. Not as a sacrifice that is put on the altar and done. It's not a one-time thing. It's a living sacrifice. Daily obedience to God brings the most freedom in our lives. And I know it's worked for me, and I believe that God can bring you so much freedom as well.